Hey everyone, welcome to the Generative AI series with Raza. I'm Sonia Pankush and today we are going to discuss about OpenAI function calling. We will discuss and learn about OpenAI function calling with the demo and especially see how it can be useful in Raza framework. So before we begin, let's discuss about what is OpenAI function calling. With OpenAI function calling, developers can now define function to models like GPT and let those models intelligently choose to output adjacent object containing arguments to those uh, to call those functions. Most importantly, it allows developers to get structured data out from the model. If you haven't checked out our tutorial on answering questions on structured data with Raza and ChatGPT, do check that out first because a lot of things uh, has been followed from that uh, particular video tutorial. Uh, we are using the same CSV file that we have used in that video. We just added a one more field called distance and given each restaurant a distance measurement in kilometers. To explain the data flow, we can also look into illustration example uh, of how the data is flowing through the whole program. So we have restaurant.csv and if the intent is discovered as restaurant, then it shows uh, the top five restaurant from that CSV. Now, if the intent is details, then it does an action restaurant detail, which is like a simple query, like which of these five have uh, Wi-Fi or which of the, these serves Italian food. And if you go into like, uh, which of these have Wi-Fi and is the shortest, then you will enter into intent distance. Then it will run action distance and it will output a list of dictionaries with restaurant name and its distance as the output. Now, this uh, after extracting the argument from the JSON output, uh, you can feed it into a function that can directly give you the name of the restaurant with the shortest distance with some features that you want into inside it. So this is the whole data flow that's working and let's get into the chunk completion part. You might also wonder why we need uh, to calculate distance via function. Well, sometimes ChatGPT is not able to answer complex numerical questions correctly and if it's critical query, it might lead to wrong answer. In Raza framework, it's a tool that we can easily use to leverage our structured database question answering without much setup and without worrying about distance entity extraction. So let's see how we can leverage OpenAI function calling in Raza. So let's start with the demo. Which of these have Wi-Fi? So up till now, uh, it's basically the same as we were doing in the answering questions on structured data with Raza and ChatGPT. Uh, let's just add a line. Which of these is the closest? So 60 seconds to Uh If you see the data set, uh, the only change we have made in the data set compared to the last one as we added 60 seconds to Napoli instead of uh, Tacos El Capron for obvious reasons. And uh, yeah, so let's dive in into how we should apply OpenAI function calling for this particular demo. So let's start making changes in our files. Uh, so here what I have taken is the same uh, repo as answering questions on structured data with Raza and ChatGPT. I have linked it, linked it in the description. So uh, this is the same file. We have just added uh, intent called distance uh, where I have uh, given all the examples of uh, intent with distance. I also added a rule uh, with intent distance and action equals action distance. Uh, the same thing has to be reflected in the domain as well. The intent has to be added and actions, uh, action distance has to be added. So now let's make changes in the most important file that is action.py file. 
So let's define our function that has to be called that does ask distance or get distance uh, with the uh, argument as a restaurant list. And then we can add the content equals we are passing the prompts right now measure the shortest distance to the restaurant plus so in ask distance we have given content measure the least distance for the given restaurant and the restaurant list basically this is serving as the prompt for this completion now we have called completion is equal to openai chart completion dot create this is showing because this is not finished yet we have given model so uh basically you have to give this particular model gpt4 uh, I have attached the link in the description to the source of OpenAI and you can see the different models you can choose from. So if you want to uh, understand the whole OpenAI function calling, this is a good uh, place to start for. Uh, they have clearly defined the models you might need and uh, how you can actually use it with different examples. So I have linked it in the description to check out. So we have this function here. What do we need in function is its uh, uh, name, its description. This description is very, very important because uh, this is actually the description of the function. Uh, suppose measure distance. So this is a description of this particular function here and do try to make as clear description as possible because this is going as a context in the model. So this model is particularly trained to output uh, arguments for this particular uh, case like uh, you know the name, the description uh, and then we need parameters. This particular uh, description describes the properties of the parameters, which basically mean it is describing the, the data structure of the extracted output. Uh, because what happens is you will be writing the uh, get distance function yourself you should be able to describe the argument that goes into so this particular description describes the data structure in which the output will be given so here for example i have given list of all the restaurants and the distance as a dictionary restaurant name is the key and distance is the value so that i'm able to calculate the minimum value and give you the uh, restaurant name which is the key uh, the two more steps after this is the required and the function call so uh, required equals the distance because this is what is output and then the function call uh, and I will also link in the description uh, the whole document about this open air function calling and how you can actually use these uh okay so this we already had action show restaurant and action show restaurant as whenever we does the query of uh show me the list of restaurant okay so this is the part where we define the function one thing has to be clear that the get distance name of this function should be also the name where we have given in the completion get distance so basically what this function is doing is taking a list of dictionary and finding the minimum value and giving us the key for that so since we have used in the description list of all the restaurant and distance as a dictionary and restaurant name and the distance so we will find the shortest value of the distance and we will fit out the restaurant name so this is what basically this whole uh, get distance function is doing now let's get to the best part the part where we can see what is the output of this whole chat completion and this is very very interesting you can clearly see the output uh, here the role is assistant 
the function name get distance and it's uh, giving the JSON output an argument and the list of distance of restaurant name and its distance. So we basically got the argument. Now we all we have to do is take out the argument and give it to the function get distance. To do that, I just have said dispatcher dot utter message text equals get distance. Uh, I'll just pass the whole dictionary. So let's just see the output ones. And we can see all the data structures that we first extracted. Right, this is the one that is the output from the whole function. Then we saw that uh, we just want this whole distance list. We output the dictionary and then we found the minimum the restaurant name with the minimum value. So I hope it's very clear to you now why we must use it to be able to better answer the complex uh, queries and. See you in the next video. So thank you for joining me.